Good morning, y'all. Today is what's that? March 23rd, I think. And I am about to go to the bank um, to do some stuff with my business, get like a business account set up and a payroll set up and stuff like that. Just a whole bunch of like um, boring stuff. Um, but my dad is an entrepreneur, so he's basically teaching me the stuff to do to avoid me from having to pay a lot for taxes and stuff like that. So, Taylor, give me a second. I'll show them you, okay? Yes? Yes? So, that is what we're about to do. Get off my foot. Um, yeah, so let me get her ready so I can get her out the house. We have like 10 minutes to get to the bank. Come on, Taylor. Guys, we're going. We're going to the bank. Bank? What does bank sound? What does the bank sound? Uh huh. Cha ching. She say? Mm hmm. A monkey say? Yeah, I did that. A monkey say? Oh no, your beat fell out. That sucks. This one. You're gonna have to put those back on later because I don't have time right now. Okay. All right, so I need to find a coat and get up out of here. So I'll talk to you guys when we get on the road. The Dr. Cross has come back. Hey guys, say hi. Hi guys, I, I met that. This is Dr. Cross. Where are you at? I am in her closet. We're at the doctor's office for Taylor's three-year checkup. The dance. Well, I got the claws and she gets my eyes. What else? My nose and my eyes. Your throat? My throat. So what else? It takes Sit on your bottom. Oh, did you need any forms or anything for daycare? No. Or anything like that? Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, no. Sit on your bottom. Sit on your bottom. Dr. Cross is coming back. That was the nice nurse. Wasn't she nice? No. Yes. Wasn't she nice? Yes. But anyway, we're at the doctor's and office. And it was for a while. Dr. Cross is. And we had a doctor Cross. He can take my eye, take my eye. Right. My throat. Check your heart. Take my heart. My breathing. I need to do this. And they checked her blood pressure with a bracelet around her arm. That's not be so scary. It wasn't scary. Hey, mommy, miss that. So we'll talk to you guys afterwards to let you know how Mama everything goes. I do. Okay, well, putting here, everything is safe. And you say, is my heart? I was originally saying University Louisiana Hospital. So she kind of got annoyed and I had to um, 
I had to drink more water and Taylor was sick with like a fever so she literally had like chills at the doctor I thought that she was like better you know kids can come down with a fever in the night and in the morning they'll be fine so I thought she was better because she didn't have a temperature the next or a fever the next day but once we got there she started getting chills again so she wanted to be held she was literally standing beside like the little ultrasound bed crying and I was like oh my gosh the lady was a little rude she was like um I always deal with like rude ultrasound texts I don't understand but um the lady was like do you need to come back I was like I'm sorry like she's sick um she left me waiting in the room forever like with the full bladder and it was hurting so bad to the point that when I did lay down I couldn't even like I couldn't even let her put the thing on my stomach that's how tender my bladder was like it hurt so bad but yeah the baby wasn't cooperating his or her back was turned to um was turned so and went in wouldn't turn around so we had to come back and yeah that's where we are today so we're on our way back to get another ultrasound and to get the results of the NT which is like the neonatal trans something I think anyway the NT screen that I was hoping they could tell me like the gender of the baby because I read from other people and I spoke to like some of my friends and they found out the gender of the baby at like 11 weeks so I was hoping that I could find out early but we shall see they already told me like you'll find out at 20 weeks when I asked but I'm like that didn't answer my question because I asked did the test um, tell the gender not when I was gonna find out because if the test tells the gender I need to find out now but um yeah because I was gonna like find out and surprise CJ if I could because he can't come with us today he's been going to my other appointments so um, and I'll vlog those too and I will share those with you also these cars are like speeding because I'm, I'm speeding myself so let me get off of here so I can drive safely with my babies <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later you want to talk to me? Hi. Okay, we're going to see the baby. Hi, baby. Say, I'm a big sister. Hi. <laughs> she missed y'all. All right, you want your um, cereal? I know you're going to do that. She don't want the apples because the apples turned a little brown. So they're dirty. Um, all right, so we're out of the appointment or the ultrasound. The, the ultrasound went okay, I guess. Um, she was only able to get one decent or just one period measurement of the baby's like neck area. So, um, she did show it to the fetal doctor or something, and they said that that was a good enough measurement for them to do the test they need to do. So, they're going to give me the results either today sometime or maybe tomorrow. We have a lot of pictures of the little baby. Um, when I tell you this baby is stubborn, like just like Taylor, it's crazy. But, um, let me go ahead and get out of this parking lot. I'm giving y'all an update before I even call Bay. So let me call him. All right, so we're at Starbucks now, like literally five minutes away, and Taylor passed out sleep. But I couldn't make it home because I drank so much water, so I had to stop. Um, I think I'm about to go in the salon and see how much it costs to get like a deep treatment because I need a deep treatment on my hair or a deep conditioning treatment, or just a treatment. One of those. Need it out of my hair. This pollen is crazy out here. It's like literally everywhere. Come on, boo. Can't pick you up, so come on. Um, But yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I'm done here.